And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Swain. It's been a little while since we've played a Yasuo deck. Uh, Going to be playing just the old classic with Yasuo and Swain. This specific list was courtesy of the leaderboard. I don't remember who, but it was somebody's deck that was kind of high up on the leaderboard whenever I was just looking at deck lists like a week or two weeks ago or something like that. And I saw that there was a, a Yasuo deck doing well, so wanted to uh you know wanted to try it out so i like the the nopify deny we got two nopifies two denies got a good smattering of removal in different places you know three ravenous flocks to go with all of these stun cards um because of course we need to be able to do damage to be able to help out our swain um the top end with this kind of deck also like the top end is always you know like what what to play looks like there is no yone no mina swiftfoot and three Minotaur Reckoners. I've always really liked Minotaur Reckoner. So that's going to be kind of uh, interesting to see how that plays out. We got, of course, our Leviathans to go along with our Swains. A lot of times trying to win games with a Yasuo deck when you don't have Yasuo isn't the easiest thing. But the Swain-Leviathan combo is super powerful. And so that gives us another really good um, top-end way to be able to win games. So let's go ahead and get to the games. We're going to go play five of them in ranked. Let's see how we do with Yasuo Swain. Okay, let's start it. So we're going Draven Ezreal. So Draven Ezreal can be a deck that can, that can be kind of aggressive. I think I like this opening hand. So my plan is turn three... Concussive Palm plus Ravenous Flock, whatever champion they play. They have the attack token on turn three. And so I'm going to have that combo. And then that would be me playing two spells in one turn. So then we would have Deep Meditation for the next turn. So I hope they play one of the two champions. Just House Spider. I'm just going to go with the Death's Hand. Three for Swain. Think you fast? Cute. So I can play this Fey Blade Twirler. I got ways to find me mushroom. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Yeah, I was gonna say, I definitely expect one of these to die. All right, we got the Swains. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Okay, good concussive palm. That also, you know, gives me the tail of the dragon, something that can block the, the chump wump. You know, we don't have to block chump wump with the blade twirler. Or not. I guess we do have to block the chump bump with the blade twirler. No way. I know it's not the best trade for me, but I I don't want to take the damage. I want the game to go longer. I want I want to give time for Swain Leviathan to be able to do their thing. Nopify. Loyalty is a <laughs> Dog Harvey, she's rolling around. Okay, come on, small three drop, small. Uh, Petty Officer being a three one. Well, I do not want to attack. You know, something something that like the fearsome would be able to get him. Okay. Don't have the mana for Nopify. But I think we're still doing okay. We got a lot of life. I'll just take the four. Follow the wind, but watch your back. Yeah, yeah, Tribune and Probulator has been pretty awesome today. 
And I know I could have played Sentry or Concussive Palm, but I just don't want to with... Nope, I want to keep Notify available. All right, so I have 11 mana. Oh, that's one off. I wanted to play Swain, then Intimidating Roar, and have Notify. I can't do all of that. I can do... Vision to see what others cannot. Swain and then like Sentry and Nopify. No cure, fools. And that's why I want Nopify. Their second Ravenous Flock. They shouldn't have another. That'd be rude. No, we haven't had too much luck today, Jack, but I like our chances in this game. I like our chances in this game. Cool. That's a lot of mana they just wasted. So we're at 2 out of 5, and 9 out of 12. Okay, I'll just block. I'll save Concussive Palm. Destination in sight. Bring these lands to their knees. <laughs> no, no, not. Oh no. Kordak, why are you doing that? Why are you giving my opponent an auction guillotine? No, don't give him an auction guillotine. Oh man. Well, they. They targeted the wrong thing, right? They know about the, the Ravenous Block at hand. So they just targeted the wrong card. Man, that was like the perfect thing to have though, Static Shock into Guillotine. That's literally the perfect thing, but they messed it up. They should have guillotined the Leviathan. Oh, they just have two Guillotines, sure. Yeah, life's great. I will break them. So they don't really want to like play Leviathan, then they, then they play like a, a four three. Time for the main event. Oh yeah, or that thing or something. Order, sir. Bring forth our army. Just decide just to get the damage in with the Swain right then. But the good news is that they've just used two guillotines. So I don't think they're playing a third. They could have like a Scorched Earth. Or, you know, now they can have Thermogenic Beam with all this mana. Cool. So Swain just stunned that thing three times. That levels up the Yasuo. Uh, Might's probably not that necessary. Like I said, I didn't I didn't build this list. This was this specific list was from um, somebody on the uh, Masters leaderboard. But I don't think that Might's that necessary because Might's only good like whenever you have like a leveled up. Like, for the most part, it's basically only good whenever you have a leveled up Swain. I mean, sure you can get like a Beyblade Twirler. You know, I, I think that you just want to you just want to play cards that are better more often than not, instead of cards that you know rely on a specific situation. All right, we are playing against the Overwhelm deck with Sejuani Darius. House Spider. I don't know if their deck really plays anything to Nopify, like Pulling Strike or something. House Spider is kind of for like their House Spider. I have my orders. Okay, there we go. House Spider's good against this thing. After it deals damage to me. Come on, play something. You know you want to. Play anything. Yeah. Man, what a great house spider. Who's gonna get in my way? Mm -hmm. Probably the spider. You're like this big, tough grenadier, and you're just gonna let like a little spider kill you. Think you're fast? Cute. Yeah. 
think these are free attacks. But we'll see, you know, like, no transfusion available. Cool. Two damage. Count it. Two for Sejuani. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I pass. I don't know. Just smell that Varg fear. Here's our chance. Keep up. Attack. He said, I'm not a fan of the spiders. I see a Black Widow and call the military for assistance. Well, I mean, Black Widow... Like... Does Black Widow, like, work for the military? Or... How is that whole arrangement? With the Avengers. Something like that. Carved from the savage cold. So it's a 5-6, so none of these things kill Swain right now. So I could just play the Minotaur Reckoner. Anything for the right coin. Yeah, I just I want this big blocker out here. Everything's in place. They gotta have like transfusion, right? I guess I can't stop transfusion. Wanna see these moves up close? I mean, Nothing personal. This will at least, you know, not have my Minotaur Reckoner die in vain. It is transfusion. But then again, you know, I'd, I would have like the Ravenous Flock. But see, I, I can go like Concussive Palm plus Flock plus Scorched Earth. That's a ton. But we can do all that to take down a Sejuani. The decision is the first of many weaknesses. <laughs> Troll chant. That was a good block. If I would have blocked here, would not have killed that thing. If I if I pass, this thing's not going to be damaged anymore. So do I want to use the ravenous flock? Uh, yeah. So Sejuani's almost leveled up. It's at four out of five. Probably a bad move by Boo. Yeah, probably a bad move by me. The dragon lives. <laughs> Every troll chant in the books. Scorched Earth is kind of bad. So they're about to have their Sejuani leveled up, but I just drew an amazing card with that Steel Tempest. That was like a perfect draw. Yeah, maybe I should have attacked with the Palm. I was thinking, basically, I wanted, because I wanted to trade, because I wanted to just do the most trades as possible, because you know, like the more trades you do with the Minotaur Reckoner and play, the better for you. That's what I was thinking. Um, They'll never see it coming. And you know, I, so I traded, I traded Troll, you know, the 3-2 the for a Troll Chant. It's not the worst trade. Bring these lands to their knees. They'll never see it coming. Stand and fight! Counter attack! We got Sejuani's Fury of the North, is my guess. It's decisive maneuver, that doesn't really do anything. I guess, I mean, I guess decisive maneuver would kill that here. I was forced by <clears throat> the worst thing about that for me is 
with the Swain dying, I don't get to Ravenous block the Sejuani. I can't, you know, Ravenous block then Scorched Earth it. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Ten out of twelve. Hey, Nopify did something. How about that? That's game. All right, Yasuo Swain, two and O. Oh. Had some clutch draws. Will GGs. Okay, we're playing against Shen Fiora. Prediction has started. So Shen Fiora. Fiora Shen. So we have stun, stun, stun champion. And a flock. I will keep. That's awesome, dude. I'm re really glad to hear that, Kurtash. I'm glad everything. Swim within the flows of magic. Everything working pretty well there. Good. That should slow them down. The eye of twilight sees the balance will decide your fate. It can cool. Try. I don't want them to be able to kill my uh, Yasuo with me having no protection for it. I sense an imbalance. Deny. All right, don't deny. What that was pretty good for them. Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. River Shaper is so good. Alright, so the two single combats gone from them, two Ravenous Blocks gone from me. They get to draw an additional card. A gift from the river folk. I'm going to lead with the stun on the River Shaper immediately. Good draw with the Arachnoid Sentry. What form will the waters take? A gift from the river folk. So I should probably just stun it again. Yeah. Cause then you know next turn we'll use our mana on these things. Gives me another attacker. What form will the waters take? Cool. Waters are still. This one's looking great. You're covered. They never gets any lighter. Twelve damage. From down to six. And this stuns four or less. So if they have the dragon at challenger, we can stun it. All right, GGS. We are three and zero. Oh, Yasuo Swain. Nivia Control, a deck that we always struggle against. But we're playing Yasuo Swain, so you never know what's going to happen. Let's mulligan these two. I'm going to keep Sentry and keep Yasuo. Can 
see the Navasian border Ooh. from here. That card's always so great. That card's always so great. I wish I could play Yasuo next turn with Deny available. But I do have backup Yasuo, so I could throw one out here. I go where the road takes me. And then even if they have Vengeance, I have a second. Clear my name. And the second will have Deny. Because this matchup, <clears throat> probably having Deny for like Harrowing, Ruination, like those cards are going to be more important than a single Vengeance. Sleep is for the guilt. Basically, I just didn't. I don't want them to have that. One, like I. Okay, so like I, I want the uh, the Arachnoid Sentry to to kill this thing, but I don't want them to have that extra card earlier than they need it. Because that that extra card. Um, you know, like, that really helps. Like, it's it's better to have that extra card as early as possible, and so I want them to have it as late as possible. Okay, well, our Nopify, you know, did something. Now they don't get to play Anivia this turn. That's kind of cool. Just have too many good cards to, to deny... Maybe I should be putting that on the Yasuo and not having the Yasuo take two damage. But again, back up Yasuo. Blade never gets any lighter. So I basically turned that Spirit's Refuge just into a 3 2. The Spirit of Winter awakens. Anything for the right coin. Guess that's one way to do it. Yeah, I got just have to save deny for ruination and harrowing. This helps out rekindler. I could just let it I could just not block, let it stay alive. A world in yeah, maybe I just don't block. Should have blocked. Now I can't attack. Should have blocked. Prepare the cargo. Yuck. So I know I could have played Yasuo and had deny available, but I was thinking, you know, like I want deny for those two cards, ruination and harrowing. And therefore, therefore, I thought this was a, you know, like with them having eight mana, this would be a good time to play Leviathan and then untap and have deny available for those kind of cards. Face me, Shorthorn. Endless cold, endless peace. Yeah, last Yasuo. Man, I really want that Leviathan in play. Return to us. <laughs> they just drew Rekindler also. Oh man, that's perfect. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Eternal winter! Man, I need that Leviathan in play.
I look pretty dead. Because the Nivea attack just kills just kills the Minotaur anyway. We each died, then found home. Yep. Good game. You should stay back, cowards. I bring the storm. I blocked that Anivia. That was my downfall. I should not have blocked the Anivia. Just take the damage again. That was where I lost that game. But I don't, I don't know if I'm still winning. But yeah, that's. This is not the end. All right, playing against Gohard. How? What are we doing to beat Gohard? This scorched earth looks ridiculous. But I guess we're not. We're not facing like the. You know, whenever we face the Tom Kench deck, we'd want that. But. Do not want that card here. Think it fast. Cute. Okay, I guess we'll play a blade twirler. So it looks like they have go hard and they are considering whether or not to cast it. Strong combo. With Go Hard costing one mana instead of the normal things that drain for one, how they all the, all the other ones cost two. That's a strong combo for one mana. Playing both of those in the same turn, like you know, basically you know, turn two, deck hand Go Hard. For silver I dug, for gold I feasted. Hmm. I like that dust hand. That can take down a twisted fate. Yeah, I guess must must have got in there just a little bit too late. Deal me in. Hold it, partner. Things should have sagged. Doing gold card instead of red card. They didn't get any damage in on me. A Yasuo to turn all these stun things into two damage each. Like their deck is just, you know, two two dot deck. Really need all these things to do um, two damage. So Minotaur Reckoner is better to play than over Swain, but I'm playing Swain so that I have Deny available. If I play, you know, Minotaur Reckoner, they Vengeance. The game's basically over. Could, you know, maybe just be an extra three damage. Cool. Towards the Swain level up. I don't like this. There's nothing to fear. We're gonna need to gain a lot of life with the Spirit's Refuge. Some time. 
Get her out from the darkness. You dare oppose Noxus. Seven. <laughs> okay, so Reckoner means I only get to have one of these Nopify deny. You pay, I fight. Play three, go hard, so that, you know, the next ones pack your bags, of course. I'm always up for a round or two. Who says I don't share? That looks like a, a red card for a go hard. File feast. What a killer. Can't do anything about it. Scared stiff. <laughs> Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. So I was thinking that by by playing this in Century. That we can then have two of these available for go hard, but underestimate. I dare you. Like a fish in water. <laughs> One Yasuo, this would have been a lot different. Pick on some of your own speed. I'm trying to grow this Fey Blade Twirler to be pretty big. And then have Spirit's Refuge for it. Gotta go with the flow. Man, Zap Spray Fin with Go Hard. That's ridiculous. I do is just find another. Now. Where are you, spirit? Oh, it's on. Nothing personal. I'll make this quick. Wanna see these moves up close? We've seen them play Vile Feast. Oh, it's on. Nothing personal. Hopefully no Vile Feast, no Vengeance. Well, I guess Vile Feast we don't, doesn't matter anymore, but hopefully no Vengeance. Wow. That's really difficult to defeat. A couple of those in a row, those Shadow Isles control decks. Go hard has to be more than one mana, right? Like to, to be to be anywhere near a, a fair card, doesn't it have to be more than one mana? Just the ability to, to play them at only one like one spell mana. One spell mana is just so inconsequential. How can that thing be only one spell mana? And then, you know, you get to just play all sorts of awesome units. You know, like, one spell mana is what you attune. Like, that's it's nothing. You get a card that is so devastating and wins games for one spell mana. It's incredible. All right, so yeah, that looks like we, we kind of struggled against those Shadow Isles decks with the uh, with that Go Hard deck and then a Nivea Control. But still, good showing. Three and two for Yasuo Swain. I think that that matchup could have been a little different if we would have had the Yasuo because we had so much done and all our things are 2-2s. And so Yasuo against a whole bunch of 2-2s with the 2 damage.
and all this done. Uh, it did seem like something that I was uh, interested in. Scorched Earth was was absolutely our worst card. Scorched Earth was really really bad. Um, it was you know because it didn't it wasn't even damage to help with Swain. It wasn't stunned to help with Yasuo. It was laughable. But I guess you have to play this card just because then if you don't have it, you get paired against Tom Kench Soraka, and you need to destroy a landmark. I guess. But it was. It, it was as bad as it could be, <laughs> you know. Like I just wanted it to be anything else, any time that we had it. Um, but but you know you never never not, like you get paired against Star Spring and then you then you really need your Scorched Earth. So I guess you got to play one, I suppose. Um, I don't really know exactly what to do for like that. You know, like over time against like a Nivea Go Hard. Those matchups seem really difficult. It, both of those matchups, you need a lot more. Like you need you need three denies for that Anivia matchup because you just have to deny everything. You know, you got to be like denying Avalanche and and Harrowing and and man. But then they just have like their Rekindler. But you know, got to deny uh, Ruination. You have to have so many denies for that matchup. Um, and against against Go Hard, you need just even more Nopifies because you got to just keep countering every single Go Hard, basically. So I don't know, those are those are some tough matchups. I don't know if you could fit more denies and notifies in here and then still be good against other matchups. I'm not sure. We'll see. All right, but there we go. That was Yasuo Swain. Still got a winning record to finish out the day, so can't complain about that. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think about adding in more uh, counters with notify and deny or um, you know anything like that. Um, you know, what you think about the build. But that's it for Yasuo Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.